There is a lot to talk about. Take a seat, unwind, and join us as we talk about safe currency and rules. Tom Need Help BTC has gone up by 5.61% in the past day, reaching $71,000. Ethereum is up 20% and now stands at 3,711. Some people say that an ETF is on the way. It's too early to tell if these reports are true, but the SEC is going after them hard. Saying it's safe, the evidence doesn't back up the CC's claims that these ETFs are unsafe because of a security problem. In order to make money, you should buy an XRP, which is the currency and has many useful features. Global transfers are being made possible by central banks. If the price doesn't appeal to you, Ethereum has a real initial coin offering ICO and is attracting big investors. Finally, the SEC says that they think the price of the security has gone up by 20% because of what I heard about Bitcoin ETFs, right? I know what friendship means. To begin, XRP is worth 54 cents, which isn't bad. It's gone up 5.33% in the last 204 hours and between 1 and 12% in the last 30 days. Let's celebrate the fact that cryptocurrencies are worth a total of $2,645 billion. Where are we going now? That's the way it looks like we're going. This is how much you need to pay. Pay attention to this. I have always pushed for it and will continue to do so. If the price doesn't go back up above $74,000, Bitcoin could fall to $60,000 and then break $74,000. We're going to the races. Although there will be physical fights, there is a chance that financial deals will happen during that time. People may start moving their money into different currencies in the next few days. It's important to know where Bitcoin is going, especially at the end of the month when I had to turn off my phone because of the chaos. In 10 days, pay close attention, I'll let you know. The weekly due date is coming up soon. What will happen with Bitcoin on Sunday? It's crazy that we've already sold 2050 of the 260 units we made. I don't know why everyone doesn't have one, but Griff gave it to us. Uh, pay attention to this, it is happening. He said it again, hey, rip slow when people start coming up to you to record your videos and do voiceovers. I guess you know you've made it. Maybe you've seen the movie from this morning already, but give this one a bit more attention. Someone is trying to make money off of my information by copying exactly what you said in this audio video and using it for their own gain, which is a good thing. Are people really that lazy that they can't study on their own or make their own content? It takes a long time to teach an AI how to make movies instead. This is mostly because of theft of information. Do you think that this person's channel will grow? That's not funny. Everyone at the Dark Defended says that when XRP hits its peak, they will still have the same worries. When XRP hits $17.22 two month, you will never get to $585. That's not impossible. Finally, it's up to you. The first thing you need to do is picture it in your mind. Pay attention. $585, yes, that will happen. It's getting close. I have a strange feeling that there will be a huge blast, a crazy parabolic blow off the top in 2025. That will make 2017 less important. The only thing that XRP users need to talk about right now is what happened in 2017. The fact that we beat the SEC in court may give us some reason to brag, but I don't think that did anything. The price dropped quickly and then came back up, but the XRPP is still worth 54 cents. It's gross, and I've been here since 2017. To be honest, a 54 cent XRP isn't that exciting, but in 2017 and 2018, it went through a crazy, exaggerated run that was based on a fake Coinbase rumor listing news. We went as high as two, Dollars, which is about $82 in the US, and as high as $380 in South Korea. Without a question, it was the best time of my life and the highest point of my cryptocurrency journey, but now it's over. We won't miss this bull wave like we did in 2020 and 2021. We might not even notice that we're going to blow up big time. The price will go up, but not this year. The end result is 75 cents. By the end of the year, we need to get above 75 cents. That's not all the places we'll be going this year. Trust me, we might be able to get that $150. I'm more sure than ever that XRP will be worth more than $10 in 2025 if the price goes up before the end of the year. However, we don't want to talk about a dollar price. There could be twice as much digital XRP next year if we get $150. We are only in May, so it's still too early to tell. There are still six months left in the year, though. Bitcoin's price still hasn't broken through the $74,000 mark or hit $100,000. Find out where it's supposed to go. It will be 100% by the end of the year. Also, Ethereum is going to become very popular. That's right, between eight and 10,000, but XRP hasn't made that move yet. We know how XRP works, and when it does, it leaves a mark that lasts. What happened at the Gala Games? More than 240 million Gala tokens were made by hackers, which is a lot. I have a Gala ticket, and I think it's worth about 4.5 cents. I hope this thing can run and give me at least 5x my money back. I think I put in $5,000 so I could get my money back since this token has reached its ceiling, has reached its ceiling. To be honest, I'd be thrilled if I could raise the amount of tokens I have from $5,000 to $25,000. Bank XRP put this out while there was a hacking fight within the team. I mean, this is a disaster. Tom Emmer agrees that stable coins and open transactions that don't need permission need a legal system. The digital money from the central bank is based on American standards. As a possible answer, why not think about the Ripple stablecoin? 
If you're thinking about a bigger idea, you might want to think about a combined bill like the one being talked about with FAA. This would combine stable coins, safe banking and executive clawbacks into one bill that would have more support from the body. Um, it's possible that this will happen by the end of the year. Yes, Joe, at the end of the year. But I think you're talking about just two very specific laws right now. One is making a framework so that people who want to start businesses, come up with new ideas or invest in great projects can do so in this country. So we never have this problem again with someone who isn't under the control of the US government. So there is also a bill on the floor for a central bank digital currency that says the federal government could make one, but they would need to get permission from Congress and it would have to work like cash. This means that any digital currency issued by the government would have to be open and not require permission to use. And private, it can't be used the way the Chinese do with the digital yuan, which is mainly a surveillance tool for making social scores on their people based on what they buy and how they act. That's not American and we can't have it in this country. And the digital money should also be in line with American standards. Tom Ember is right when he says we need rules for the law. A legal structure is something we've been talking about for a while. What's interesting is that the CEO of Tether said bad things about Brad Garlinghouse while Brad was praising what Tether had done. But you know what? A lot of this market share will be taken up by Ripple Stablecoin. In our next video, we'll go into more depth. But for now, it's important to know that this is a real cryptocurrency. This is where Bitcoin stands at the moment. As I already said, we need to break out at 74 because Bitcoin could surge, speed up and rip through these areas without notice. The bull run starts when we hit 74,000. It will take a few more months to break through if we don't get there soon. Then all the money will flood into the markets and by the end of the year, it will be worth at least 75 cents of XRP.